Hey, hey, hey! Today we're talking about two new priest cards. Crystallized Oracle and Shadow Visions. And of course, another lethal puzzle at the end. Crystallized Oracle is a 1 mana 1-1 one, one elemental. With the same death rattle as Shifting Shade. Copy a card from your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. On its own, it's not good enough for letter play. The random card you get from your opponent's deck is usually worse than just putting a good card in your own deck. However, the random card from your opponent's deck is pretty good in tournament play. When people know exactly all the cards in their opponent's deck. Suddenly they have to play not only around your cards, they need to play around the cards in their own deck as well. It's also an elemental, maybe we'll see it in an elemental deck. And it's a 1 mana death rattle, which is great for the quest Awaken the Makers. Obviously we're going to see some death rattle priest decks, with Crystallized Oracle, Awaken the Makers and the Zoth. We could see all of that in a Kazakas Raza death rattle deck, but maybe that's too much for one deck. Talking about the Kazakas Raza deck, that's about the only deck I could see Shadow Visions being played in. Shadow Visions, discover a copy of a spell in your deck. In a Kazakas Raza deck you often have mana to spare, since Raza makes your hero power free. So you could use that spare mana for Shadow Visions. We've seen several of these discover cards, however most of them are only one mana. Shadow Visions is two mana. It's a bit stronger than the others though. Because you discover a card you actually put in the deck yourself. It's very similar to tracking, except you don't remove the cards from your deck. Those cards are still in your deck, and you have a better idea which cards are going to show up. Let's look at the Reno Raza Kazakus Priest deck that is being played right now. As you can see, there are only 8 spells in this deck. Imagine we take out a minion like Chilma and we put in Shadow Visions. What is the chance you can get a specific spell that you need with Shadow Visions? Depends how much spells you've drawn so far. If you've drawn none besides Shadow Visions, assuming there are 8 spells in the deck, it's 37.5%. Not bad, but the more spells you draw, the more likely the spell you want is going to show up. If there are only 3 spells left in your deck, of course you have a 100% chance to discover the card you want. On the other hand, if there are no spells left in your deck and you draw Shadow Visions as the last spell, it's completely useless. As for decks without Raza, tempo decks like Dragon Priest can't afford to spend the 2 mana. Just too slow and too expensive. It certainly won't see any play, but maybe we'll see it in some new Priest combo deck. Okay, let's go over today's 100% lethal puzzle. We have Holy Fire, Frostbolt, that was created by Crystallized Oracle, Cold Light Oracle, Divine Spirit, Power Word Tentacles, Holy Nova, Pint Size Potion, and, oh, Shadow Visions in our hand. Who put that card in our deck? We have only three spells left in the deck. Mind Vision, Potion of Madness, and Inner Fire. Seriously, who made this deck? Tar Creeper and Galaka Crawler on board, ready to attack. 10 mana and hero power available. Our deck still has 10 cards left, our opponent only has 1 card left in his deck though. He has a Curator, Deathwing, 2 mirror entities and a Ragnaros on board. So many taunts, there's no way we have lethal. We might as well concede. This is not a lethal puzzle, this is a lethal nightmare. But maybe you do spot lethal? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, <laughs> please subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.